What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a product that is going to be on the back of our friend's Forerunner here. This is Jay's Forerunner. We have it in here for a suspension lift, cam gussets, spindle gussets, and this other part that I'm going to show you guys in just a little bit that is in the rear. It's a pretty cool part because every Forerunner that's lifted pretty much needs it and it's super easy to do anybody can do it at home with some basic tools but before you guys see that let's go in the front and show you guys what we've done so far so in the front here we have a couple things that we've done everything has been done here by our guys in the shop first of all we have this c4 fabrication low pro bumper with the high hoop. This one up here, I believe it's called the high hoop, but it is high enough so you still use your sensor and see your letters. We do have a Baja 30 inch S8 in here in the amber color. Um, we do have a winch back here as well. This is the worn uh, Evo VR, I believe, with a factor 55 fair lead and flat link. CBI skids underneath in the gray and then over here we do have the C4 high clearance additions that go on the side it's pretty nice to have because it completes the look with the low pro bumper it also protects your line right here your AC line I believe that's the AC line but down there and then this is the fresh new part that is in the truck today this is the king ext extended travel with adjuster as you guys can see there with the red knob this is been a long time coming jay has been on the westcott designs spacer lift kit for a while this is a trd pro so it does have the factory fox and the only way really to upgrade is to go with another fox or kings so we did that also on top this is old but this is the spc upper control arm the other new one is the total chaos spindle gusset you guys can see how beefy this thing is so jay can hammer on this thing and and go hard and then also right down here is going to be the sp or i'm sorry not spc the cam gussets you guys can see there these little two long pieces on the side there kind of reinforces that so that way when you hit things off-road or even on road the cam which controls your lower caster adjustments won't go out of alignment as often so that helps a lot we also have our um, cat mount chop there the round plate looks like it needs a fresh coat of paint or steel it on there to protect it from that rusting in the back we also have the kings of course to match the front and then a lot of you guys have been asking about the rock sliders r4t rock sliders when they are coming back we are currently working on them we did a new design to make them stronger and a little bit easier to install possibly so we'll see and show you guys a little bit later but the main purpose of this video is going to be back here so this right here that rod that goes all the way from one side to the other that is your pan hard bar so that one at factory ride height it allows your suspension to cycle properly but once it's lifted which we have the icon overland series spring in there now so the um, the pivot point of the pan hard is now different so what we need to do to correct that is to install a correction kit so let's go take a look at what we got back here so in the past we have shown you guys the I'm Keith weld on pan hard correction kit this here is a bolt on pan hard correction kit this is made by DR KDSS or Dr. KDSS, whatever you guys want to call it, but DR is his initials, the guy who came up with this part. 
he's not a real doctor but you guys get the point super cool guy and he made this very very helpful easy to install piece this is a steel very thick piece of metal that will bolt on to the uh, bracket down there and it's very close to the king color not exact but that is because this is aluminum which is anodized and this part is steel and I don't know if steel can be anodized but this is powder coated to withstand some rocks and stuff like that a little bit better than anodized can but holding it right next to each other it's pretty dang close they do make some other parts that are aluminum and anodized that are pretty much the exact same color as the actual king blue so we're gonna get this piece installed here and show you guys what that looks like with it installed all right so we have the full runner on the ground now and this thing looks so good we got the ride height dialed in to match the rear there's about half an inch of rake that way it doesn't look leveled because every truck in my opinion at least should have a little bit of rake in the back for gear and anything you put in the back so this thing turned out really good so here's the front look like i showed you guys earlier in the video but obviously now it's on the ground see for bumper baja designs light bar um, we'll get some more bajas up here baja fogs baja big pots maybe lp6s in between the hoop here baja ditch lights <coughs> r4t rock sliders i love that you can see the king just from the ground looks so good but let's go look in the back here this is the rear this i didn't show you guys but we installed the rear bumper as well this is the wing works rear bumper side protection tube for the fender or the bumper there this is a dual swing out there will be a spare tire mounted on the right side of it and then Jay didn't choose this option, but we are going to be adding a couple things like the Max Trax mount and other things to it. It is welded on, so we'll have to get this arm repowder coated, but luckily it is just the arm. We don't have to repowder coat the whole thing, so that'll be easy. It does come with a some vinyl that you can put. You guys can see the, the factory holes behind the vinyl there, but it makes it look like you don't have the subframe showing which is really nice so it's a really nice touch that they did there and uh, this bumper just looks really really good especially with the TRD Pro roof rack tube style basket they got going on matches this tube but Jay will be swapping that roof rack out with a real roof rack that is actually usable but uh, down here we have the pan hard bar you guys can see there if we wanted to we can go up one more notch but i think this is pretty pretty good i think if we went up one more notch it might be too much it might be going in the opposite direction and especially if he's going to be putting a roof uh, rack and tent on it it's going to drop a little bit and it'll be pretty much leveled with the ground but as you guys can see there we have the Pen hard correction kit, bolt on kit, full bolt on. So pretty much anybody can do this at home and that will correct your pen hard angles. If you guys want more information on why this modification is necessary, I will put a link to the old video that we did with the welded on version right up here somewhere. You guys can click on that and go there, but this is super easy, way easier than the welded on version, obviously. Um, oh yeah, one more thing we did. We chopped the exhaust right there. You guys can see it? We chopped it so it's basically parallel with the ground instead of going 
um, perpendicular to the exhaust so that way it just dumps straight down this is the TRD Pro exhaust so it does have a little more deep tone to it than a factory if you guys enjoy the video make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel let us know what you guys want to see and we'll make it we always have something new to show you guys for Toyota so if you guys like that stuff be sure to subscribe but we will have this correction kit and anything else we mentioned in this video down in the link if not you can find it at runninforwardtacos.com and we will see you guys in the next video peace